Every Sunday, it's like, oh, good, they're playing again. They give me something to you know, look forward to. I think it's when uh, life deals you some blows that you find out what, what's a true friendship. I, somebody who's there for you when you call them up and say, i got to get to this doctor, I can't drive. I'm on my way, Becky, you know. That's sort of the epitome of friendship. <laughs> So back in 67, 8? Somewhere 69. there. 69. Yeah, okay. 69. Mesa Elementary. Yep. 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 Mesa Elementary, fifth grade. Yep. Yep. A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> sort of hard to explain. Why is it when you meet somebody, you're like, you're going to be my friend. <laughs> and it's just, that's just sort of how it was. <laughs> Even in school, I remember her Bronco attire. You know, she always knew all the players. She always was the biggest Bronco fanatic. That's the thing is when I saw the contest, I immediately thought of Becky because she was just always the ultimate Bronco fan. We want you to help us decide the ultimate Broncos fan. Nine fans will be featured during Broncos halftime. When we'll get to see the Broncos take on the Cardinals at Mile High. So I started writing an essay, and um, I asked Becky's permission if I could submit it, and I had her read it before I before yeah. I sent it in. Yeah. That was good. This just seemed like an appropriate thing to do. <laughs> My name is Becky Robinson. And I've been a Bronco fan since the early 70s. I've been battling this cancer since 2014, and it, uh, it was gone, and it came back in 2017. So I've been going through chemo and radiation for uh, over two years now. Uh, unfortunately, um, yeah, it's not working. So it's just a matter of time. But. I've enjoyed it while I've been here. <laughs> One thing is that she said she wanted to, to go to San Diego. Yeah. Yeah, and dip her, dip her feet in the ocean one more time. And uh, that seemed like it was going to be a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting <laughs> me on a plane was going to be challenging. So this contest seemed like a, <laughs> I, 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 I think I just wanted to give her some, something really big. Mm. I'm going to have to go to <laughs> Sorry. And the winner of the nine fan card is the woman who told us she is trying to make every day the best it can be. Becky Robinson is at tonight's game. Oh, this breeze feels so good. Uh, perfect. Yep. No, I think it'll be great memories. It couldn't have happened at a better time. Definitely. And I wasn't there very long until we saw Emmanuel Sanders. Are you going to go on the sideline warm up? I think so, for a little while. Philip, uh, Lindsay, you come sign your jersey. That would be oh, awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I really, really like that. Thank you. All right. <laughs> the way the community rallied was amazing. It started off as a contest to win some football tickets. Then it ended up being more and more uh, people reaching out you know, why do you know how I'm doing? It, you know, the tickets and the seats and everything are great, but I think that's been more rewarding is just uh, getting back in touch with people. And, and so, yeah, no, it, it definitely became a lot more than just a, a football game, a lot more. There he is. There's Philip. I've been waiting for you. Yes, yes. Oh, here. Oh, you. Made my day. <laughs> well, I've stopped all treatments just because um, they've determined that no. it's such a long shot at this point. <laughs> I know. It's okay. <laughs> I feel like Becky was al always part of my family, and I always feel like I was part of Becky's family. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely whether you like it or not. <laughs>
you know, I don't know, I can't say it's prolonged my life, but you know, I'm gonna say I, it could have been something very positive when there's not a whole lot positive going on. Couldn't ask for a better friend to have done it with. <laughs>